The mark of a great hockey player, okay, and I know him. I've been, I've been in the NH, NHL in and out since 1970, okay. I've been around and worked with every great player. Bobby Orn is prime, was the best player I ever saw, okay. Because he could, it, it, I told the story to our team last year. When I was a stick boy for the Seals, I used to do the visitors bench. I did the door at 10 years old, okay. And uh, in two trips in 1971, Bobby killed off in each game two minor penalties on the same shift, never gave the puck up. Won the draw himself, took the puck and skated for two minutes, nobody could catch him. Seals went through four shift changes, they couldn't catch him. That's a great player. It's on YouTube, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? The Seals just gave up, they just let him skate around, okay? <laughs> It was like a rubber band. Then he'd come down, all the way down, 180 feet, straight up the net, shoot, hit the crossbar, pull the puck, skate backwards, all the way back. Come on, get the puck, get the puck, all around, okay? So that's greatness, okay? If you can do that, you can be playing here, okay? We're close, all you guys are close. The measuring distance is this, it's not this, okay? You understand that? Because you wouldn't be here. If the measuring stick was this far, you wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have you on the team, okay? So. The way to approach it, four days into camp, anytime you get the puck, pull the trigger, okay? Just believe me, you won't pull the trigger right away, but that's the way I want you to think, okay? Pull the trigger. You're not gonna juke anybody out. You're not gonna dangle anybody out. Pull the trigger, and you know what you'll find out? You do dangle, but you're doing it quicker. You understand what I'm saying? It's psychosomatic. This is not youth hockey. This is junior hockey, and the people that are gonna come out, this is the great thing. And it's a great story. I talked to every kid in the San Jose organization last year. Now, if one of the owners of the Coyotes sent you an email, you probably want to get back to them and say, hey, how you doing, man? I just wanted to meet you, thank good luck, yeah. I sent emails to all of them, and each one of them said, I'm not gonna play in the WSHL, that's beneath you. Beneath you. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna go to like the AJHL. Yeah, well, good. Okay, you pay your six, so guys can play free, okay? So, they said that, they do it, they move on, and then they start emailing me back, they want to come back. I've had five emails in the last 24 hours of guys who a lot, some of you in here know who they are. They want to come back now. I said, sorry, should have learned that the first time, okay? The reason I'm telling the story to you is that scouts don't give a shit what league it is. This is a hard thing to learn too as a hockey guy. And you think, wow, the Western States League, they got, you know, there's 40 fights a game and, you know, police are coming in clubbing people in the head. The league doesn't play that way anymore, okay? This league has a lot of different scouts that come to it. And every year, there are 19s and 20s that get pulled out of the league and go somewhere else, okay? But scouts come to watch this league, they don't give a shit, okay? What they don't watch, and I'll give you a good example, is the Sharks, against everyone's judgment, blew out the Western Hockey League tournament that went on because the WHL, a professional league, would send, every team would send two to three scouts. So there were always kids being discovered that you wouldn't think because they saw something in them, okay? That's the way hockey's supposed to work at this level. This year they went to the USHL tournament, okay? Well, the USHL only functions in the Midwest, in Wisconsin, in Minnesota, uh, and any guy, you know, that may be a buying kid that's, you know, played well, that can, whatever the USHL considers playing well, right? Which is go 300 miles an hour right before you get to the board, stop so somebody else crashes over into the glass and then you avoid the hit, which is the way they're, all their players play. So they brought this tournament in and a number of us talked to guys that were there and I said, hey, you know, exactly, what do you think? Guys said, after the first two shifts of every game, we went to the bar and got drunk. Okay? Went to the bar and got drunk. Now, there were even a couple of Junior Shark guys that said, hey, you're paying this year 12000 15000 to play. Why, why would you come over here and pay your seventy-five plus, you know, 1000 bucks to be in front of 150 scouts, college scouts? Oh, no, no. We're playing rep hockey. Okay. Bullshit. This league is scouted just like any other league. Scouts only want to see guys that can play the game. Capiche? Pull the trigger, play the game, okay? Dangling Ovechkin, okay? Joe Thornton, whatever. This, big guys, fast guys, smaller guys that are gritty, bigger guys that are gritty, guys that will go into the corners, pull the trigger, okay?
Okay, you're going to see good things happen. Everybody understand? <coughs> I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm just telling you. You'll still dangle, believe me. Your brains don't work this way. Cognitively, you don't understand it yet. But if you tell somebody, look at when you come up to a corner, like your parents will tell you when you're learning to drive, stop! Don't run that guy over in the crosswalk. Stop right here! And you're like, get the f out of the car, okay? <laughs> it's serious. I, my mom, at 50, so I'm like, shut up, or I'll fucking hit you. <laughs> so the difference is, now, at 52, I'm like, you know, I have to catch myself, <laughs> sort of, I don't do it, but I, you know, I hint at it, okay? That's what hockey is, right? Now, many of you may sit here and go, that guy, you didn't know he's hard, I'm gonna dangle my way into the league, you ain't fucking dangle your way anyway, except your dick in your hand, okay? <laughs> I like everybody on this team right now, I like the group that we have, uh, I'm incredibly excited. I only okay? like about half of it. Okay, <laughs> but no, what did I say? Any coach worth his weight hates all of his team 75% of the time and loves them 100% of the time. So if Zach's mad, like poor Jensen, breaks a stick, there's not nothing there, he comes to get a stick, he steals one, and Zach comes off ready to kill him. Oh, that's a drill. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a spirit coach to run times. That's great, that was great. You're my hero, that's exactly what you should do, okay? So, um, anyway. It's the heat of the moment. So um, I know Zach wants to say a couple of things. I want to talk about Fresno, okay? Um, Fresno is a classic, uh, uh, fine sell. What's the, uh, where you sell, you put the ad in the paper and you know, the car's not there. They sell one at that price, you know, price and everything else is all up, okay? It's a classic used car sales franchise. Um, four of their kids are playing on this team uh, are on my protected list because Ballard promised them they'd play in the NAHL, and then of course they have to play in the WSHL team to prove themselves. So I can tell you tomorrow, uh, you know, you're gonna get uh, a large dose of their bigger forwards, who are younger kids, so I tried to tell them not to go to the place, they're there. You'll get Tommy Nury, uh, you know, he's a good kid, we all like Tommy, uh, he really is a good kid, but he'll fight at, at the word go. Kid. He'll, he'll be straight with you, okay? But he'll fight, he can throw him. Yeah, he's a strong kid, man. He pulls, but he does a little too much. Um, so we look for that. Uh, they're forwards. We all know the story, okay? We all know the story. We should be able to dominate their forwards. They won't have anybody. They may claim they will. And who knows, knowing Eric, he may bring down half the uh, NA roster to play against. I hope he does, so we beat him 19 to nothing. So it'll be a good lesson for him. Okay? <laughs> So just, you know, in this league, you gotta keep your heads up all the time, and you gotta keep your freaking mouth guards in your mouth. I wanna stress this, I know a little bit about the game, obviously, and I feel very strongly that in this, this type junior hockey, um, you send four after them. You play hard, you play fast, you play quick, and you fucking crank the bodies. Slowly but surely, you start getting room. When you see the room, we've got guys here that can all do it. This is when Dangle City comes in, okay? You get the room in, in this kind of game, goodbye. Take the puck and, and, and go. I got a hotel book. Oh, okay. sleep in the car. It's a pretty cool opportunity here, yeah? Yeah. A little, uh, little gig. Um, part of something from the very beginning. So you have an opportunity. He's probably going on and on about it. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm really not. I'm not a guy of a lot of words. I don't speak a lot. I'm not, you know, not going to waste a lot of your time. Um, I'm not big on systems. I like simple, and it's going to be just, you know, get it to the net and outwork them. Real simple. Down low, play down low, hit, finish, and just make good plays. And that's always easier said than done. And if, you know, looking around the room here, there are guys that I recognize from a long time ago. And when I saw you play midget or bantam or whatever it was, there were habits that you had then that you still have today. And those follow us wherever we go. So we really have to bear it down and make sure that we do things the right way. And it's the little details of things, you know, getting pucks deep, getting pucks out of the zone. <coughs> it's not. I don't want you to play with fear of making a mistake. You know, I expect everyone in to make mistakes. I'll make mistakes, we all will. Um, but we have to learn from them. You know, we've got Wesley Starr here as a prime example. You know, 
No, you can be the whipping boy all year. <laughs> all year. <laughs> big bitch. Uh, yeah, you can be the big bitch all year. <laughs> but, I mean, here's a here's a big body that can skate and can hit. He can do everything except get back to his own zone and and you know pass the puck. Not a passer. Wayne, you know, and that is going to affect four other guys on the ice and you know it's a habit it's something that has to be broken but you're going to have the opportunity to do it you're not going to be on the ice you know make a mistake and get yanked and sat at the end of the bench or scratched you know you're going to have an opportunity to learn and when i say that you know i just said i'm not a guy with a lot of words i if i come and, and talk to you about something <laughs> then, you know, listen. You know, don't argue with me about it. Just listen to what I have to say. Think about it. You know, if you want to say I'm full of shit, you save it for later. But during the course of the game, I'm seeing something on the ice. I'm seeing it from a different perspective than you are. So, you know, take a second to think about what I'm telling you. I'm trying to help you break a habit. I'm trying to get you to stop doing something that has you know, possibly prohibited you from playing in the USHL or, or whatever league it is you're trying to play in. Um, that being said, I think if we look around this room, it's pretty, it's a pretty good group. Yeah, bring your dry line, bring your tennis shoes. Um, we'll go through the warm up on ice warm up and just draw that up. Um, but like he was saying, for Fresno, for for any team we play, um, I, it would be ideal for me that every team has a bad taste in their mouth after we're done playing. All right? Like, I really want them to hate us. I want them to hate us. I want them to hate us because we beat them, and I want them to hate us because we beat them and we rub their face in it. Right? A little bit of attitude. <coughs> you beat the shit out of them. Exactly. <laughs> you guys are going to be the best in the league. Far death, far enough.